Welcome to the press conference after the second quarter final between Ludwigsburg and Murcia. Murcia wins 85 to 72, and I'm now joined by the winners. Congrats. Uh, Dustin Sliver, player and head coach Sito Alonso, as always, also after managing to go to the final four. Uh, we're starting with the players. So, Dustin, your thoughts about today's win? Uh, yeah, it's not an easy place to play. Uh, I played here last year, a very physical team. They're going to fight till the end, so you know to come here and get a win was very important for us to you know finish the job. Other questions for Dustin? Okay, great one. So thanks for taking your time. Good luck for Belgrade. Thank you. And before that, we we're talking about Ludwigsburg and your thoughts about today's second win. It looked like uh, easy. But uh, it's very difficult to beat this team twice and avoid they score uh, more than 75 points. You know, it was our goal because they are incredible uh, team scoring. In the last uh, game against Sama Berlin, they scored 100 points against them, against a, well, 90 points against a yearly team. So our goal was be defending incredible in the first game and the second game, and, and we got it. Now we are so happy for, for the team. It's our second time in, in our final four. In this BCL, each year is more difficult, this BCL. So it's, it's an important, important thing for us to be in the, in, the final, in the final four in Belgrade. So congratulations for the team. Congratulations for Ludis Group because I really like how they play basketball. I really like the coach, the players, um, and has been a, a very difficult opponent for us in, in these in this quarterfinals. So, thank you good luck much. for the semi-final. Thank you very much. Thank Fingers you. crossed. And we're, we'll resume me with the second part and lose it for a guys in a couple of minutes.
going to the second part, and now I'm joined by player Eddie Eddigan and by coach Josh King. Once again, we're starting with the player, and so far, Eddie, your thoughts about today's game? Uh, tough loss. Um, I think we gave us a good chance to win the game. I think we were right there, but uh, like now I see our like three point percentage, twenty five percent. It's tough because against this team, uh, you gotta make shots, and obviously we weren't that good on the on the three point line. And yeah, it was unfortunate. Other questions for Eddie? Just wait for the microphone. I thought you were struggling a little bit on the. Uh, on the boards rounding, um, why was it so difficult um, uh, getting hold of the balls uh, against the uh, bigs? I mean, it's an experience and solid team. I mean, it's a very tall team, and we knew that uh, it's going to be important that all of us chip in for the rebounds. I think we did a better job than uh, last week against them, but yeah, it's just something it's tough. I mean, they're tall and they, and they play very smart, they play to their, their advantage, which makes it hard for us to. What do you think about uh, your new teammate, Ariel Bukforti, and his first game after four years here? Uh, Ariel is definitely going to help us. Uh, he gives us length, he gives us uh, athleticism, uh, he gives us a lot of stuff. And uh, we got we to gotta get used to, to our system because it's been a while. And I think like when we integrate him, Some of what Eddie said there, uh, uh, the ball did you know to beat to beat Mercedes. First off, you gotta you gotta guard them. Uh, they put you in tough spots. They're a really big team. Um, they do a great job. I think they lead the BCL in, in percentage of points in the paint with around fifty four percent. I thought we did a much better job in this game than we did at their place of protecting the basket. They hit some tough shots from the outside today. Especially late clock, I think you know a killer shot they hit uh, to start the fourth quarter. We did, we played a great defensive possession, and Copain hit a, a really tough three pointer that kind of gave them the nine point lead. And then they hit a couple tough ones in the fourth. Uh, unfortunately for us, I think you know one, one thing I I didn't even give our guys credit for because I, I we just played uh, less than forty eight hours ago on the road in Berlin against a tough opponent. Um, so I think that had something to do with our shots tonight not falling as much. Uh, but again, I, I thought our effort was good tonight. I thought we gave ourselves a chance if a couple more of those baskets go in. You know, we, we, we didn't get to the line as much as we wanted to. Uh, you see, they, I think they got to the line 28 times and us 15. Uh, I thought we, we probably deserved to go a little bit more than we did, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, but anyhow, uh, hats off to a really good team. I, I still say that I think they're – the best team we've played all year. Uh, they're one of the best teams in Europe, and uh, I think they're going to be a tough out for somebody in the Final Four. But uh, proud of my team. Uh, great Champions League season. Uh, anytime you can get to the top eight and have a chance to go to the Final Four, that's nothing to be ashamed of. And uh, now we can uh, move on and focus uh, in, in our domestic league. Thank you very much. I guess there are questions. For sure there. You played against the best teams of Europe. What can you learn, uh, you, the team uh, from the Champions League for the great final in the domestic league and the Bundesliga? What, what can you learn? Yeah, well, I, I just told him in the locker room, if we, if we play with that much focus and that much effort every game, we're going to be a tough team to beat because we didn't even make shots tonight. And had, had we made shots, I think there might be a little bit different outcome. But... Uh, yeah, I think I think it, we show that when we're when we're locked in and we're focused, we can, we're a tough team to beat, and we can play with anybody. And don't make any mistake about it. I think the game tonight was much closer than the final score indicated. Uh, again, down six going into the fourth quarter, like I just stated. And uh, yeah, I think when we're focused, 
we have enough in our locker room to be uh, a, a tough out in the domestic league, in the BBL. So I can't, no, I can't stand up with the last word. Yeah. Um, the same question uh, for Eddie. Eddie, um, a statement about uh, your new player, Forty. Yeah, um, for, for flying in, he got here on Saturday. He flew from wherever, Melbourne to Taiwan, I believe, to Frankfurt. Got here Saturday morning, met the guys, couldn't practice yet because they didn't have medical checks. We were in Berlin. Uh, we got back late Sunday night. I'm telling you all this for a reason. We couldn't really go live uh, yesterday. Uh, we, we met twice, but it was more just walk through positioning. That's all he's gotten with us. So I think for a first game, uh, not really knowing what we're doing, <laughs> the 10 rebounds uh, gave us, again, physicality, like Eddie said, and length around the basket. He's going to help us for sure. Um, and he's going to help us even more when he knows what we're doing and what we're trying to do. So that's the last word. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll see each other on Saturday in the domestic league and after the hard work. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, guys.